Hey there folks, I got a new holster for you. So this one's for my Glock, my Glock 26. I have several guns. So I've been looking for new holsters. And as you know, from the last review, I want to do like outside waistband holsters. I have pancake holsters, but I want to try paddle holsters. Uh, I have added in the past with my other guns that I don't no longer have. So I want to check out the new modern versions of paddle holsters. But first I want to do a safety check. This is unloaded. Boom, good to go. But I wanted to show you this new holster that I got. This is from Eclipse Holsters. Um, pretty cool little website that they have. They offer different variations. They have inside the waistband, outside the waistband. Uh, I believe they have a chest rig. They, they have a whole bunch of stuff, but they make pretty awesome Kydex holsters. And they offer like these specialized materials, right? So all my holsters are black. Uh, maybe one that's brown leather, uh, but I don't have anything like this. So all my Kydexes are black. That's it. Black, 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 which is kind of like, kind of boring. So I want something a little bit fancy, a little bit flashier, maybe a little bit more, less identifiable. Like if this slips out of my hoodie and somebody sees this, they might just say, what a lovely floral shirt that man is wearing. Instead of saying, hey, is that a jammy? Is that a, is that a holster? So they offer awesome materials. Uh, let's see, they have, this one's the Guns and Roses version. So it's skulls and roses. They also have a gray topography. They call it gray topo, which is kind of cool. I was tempted to get that. But I have knives like that, so I, said, I want something different. Uh, American flags, they got thin red line flags, thin blue uh, line flags, um, constitutional flags. You think of it, they have it. They have like a list. I'll put the link below. They have a list of all the special materials they have. So I want this one. This is kind of sexy. And if my lady friend wants to carry it, she when we go to a range, she can sport this bad boy. You see that they have these um, aluminum washers. So this is a option that you can choose. They have all kinds of different colors. Uh, I selected the red because it's going right over the red roses. They add the washers also to the back. Again, it is a paddle holster made in the USA. That's kind of important these days, isn't it? Let's support everybody uh, that's uh, making making products here in the U.S. I think that's more important today than anything else. So, yeah, so they add the, the washers over here, too. They didn't really have to, which is kind of cool that they do that because no one's going to see this but me when I take it off. But it's kind of neat that they add that, you know, as an accent to this already awesome holster. So pretty good retention. Most Kydex holsters are excellent retention, and it's sexy, right? So this is for the sights. Very nice. You can adjust the tension here. It's perfect already. Here's the inside. So, so I noticed, like you guys know, I did that that holster review, right? That I got from Etsy, right? The the stormtrooper looking thing for not for this gun, but for my um, uh, LCP Max. I noticed when I would draw my LCP Max, I would notice that I would get some residue from inside the holster. But in this holster, I don't seem to have that issue, right? I mean, the guy was at Etsy store. Maybe he doesn't do a better job. But you can see here, the inside is nicely finished and it doesn't scratch the gun, which is good, right? Because most Kydex, that's some of the issue that it might wear and tear right? The finish on your gun. Uh, apparently, this is nice and finished nicely, so it's good. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. Very nice. You don't need a belt. You know, if your pants don't have a belt, you don't need a belt. You can just put it right over your jeans. I don't recommend you use a paddle holster like with your sweatpants because the gun is kind of heavy. I tried it. It fits, but it might pull down now, if you have the LCP Max 380, yeah, you might be able to pull that off with sweatpants, but I don't recommend it for a gun as big, as heavy as this brick, this Glock 26. Um, so 
Their holsters accommodate optics. If you have fancy optics and flashlights and, and lasers and all that shit, they will, you just have to specify that in the options and, and Eclipse holsters will accommodate you with that. Uh, aftermarket side, they can do that. This is nice also because if you notice, and I, I, I didn't mention that in my last holster, uh, that I reviewed, it does have a, a sweat guard. So if this is touching your fat body and you tend to sweat profusely, they put this little sweat guard here to protect your slide, which is nice. Right? So that's, that's a nice feature. Uh, again, you got the adjustable ta uh, tension. Uh, they have different materials that you can use. You don't have to go Kydex. They can use carbon fiber and they got different patterns. Besides the specialty prints, they have camo, right? So pretty neat options. Now I'm going to follow this up with, uh, uh, me, uh, basically with this holster on my waistband. So get excited for that. Okay, folks, for this demo, you can see it prints. It is a larger gun, so, you know, maybe not wear such tight-fitting clothes or not be as fat as me. But you can see when it sticks out, people might think it's a cell phone case or something. So it's, you know, because of its unique pattern. Uh, here it is. I don't have a belt on. I just want to show you that it sits well on the jeans. The hooks attach. No belt. All right, guys, that's a nice review on this Eclipse holsters. Again, I'll put the link below. Check them out. Uh, I have more holsters coming, so look for that. All right, guys, peace.